Bereshit chapter 13 And Avram went up from Mitzrayim into the south, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lot with him. And Avram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south as far as Beit El, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Beit El and Ai, to the place of the slaughter place which he had made there at first. And there Avram called on the name of Yahweh. Now Lot, who went with Avram, also had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their possessions were great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Avram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. And at that time the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwelt in the land. Then Avram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brothers. Is not all the land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I go to the right. Or, if you go to the right, then I go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of the Yarden, that it was well watered everywhere, before Yahweh destroyed Sedom and Gomorrah, like the garden of Yahweh, like the land of Mitzrayim, as you go toward Tuar. So Lot chose for himself all the plain of the Yarden, and Lot moved east. Thus they separated from each other. Avraham dwelling in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelling in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent as far as Sedom. But the men of Sedom were evil, and sinned before Yahweh, exceedingly so. And after Lot had separated from him, Yahweh said to Avram, Now lift up your eyes, and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward, for all the land which you see I shall give to you and your seed for ever. And I shall make your seed as the dust of the earth, so that, if a man could count the dust of the earth, then your seed also could be counted. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. So Avram moved his tent, and went and dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built a slaughter-place there to Yahweh.